I'm going to reach here and just pull some of the, this skin here. Mm. Okay. Whew, you got a lot of it over with there. I've never felt that kind of skin crack before. What brings you in? What's your chief complaint? I think it started my pain like when I was in high school. I played a lot of baseball and I worked a lot and so didn't really like lift properly and so I think that may have messed up my back you know so is it mostly your low back that's hurting yeah you? like like mid low back and then sometimes like up in my upper back and I can feel it coming up into like my ribs too like this like my sternum hurts a lot too and then do you notice the pain worse at the end of the day or beginning of the day or usually sometimes sometimes in the morning it's really bad and like okay. in my mid uh, middle to low back it's really bad okay. then throughout the day it seems to get better almost and okay. then towards the end of the day it starts getting worse again okay I'm gonna go ahead and feel your back is that okay yeah. all right well there's a knot right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my back is full of knots. <laughs> In your case, it's firing like that because you're slightly tilted forward like this. Okay. Okay, and you, you know, even when you sit here, you're rounded forward. So, which is common. Everybody yeah. does this. I sit at the computer a lot. I'm sure that doesn't help. So, if you notice how I sit, I get made fun of all the time on the internet. But I sit like this on purpose because I'm kind of sticking my butt out not to be like flashy or anything just to because I don't want to round. Yeah. So like if you take your hand and place it behind you, okay, now lean forward. Do you feel how those muscles get tighter? Mm -hmm. Now lean backwards. Yeah, I can feel it, yeah. I'm getting looser. Right. So you don't feel it when you slouch because you're in a seated position. You usually feel it when you stand up. When you go to stand up and then those muscles have to engage. Right. So they're kind of in a relaxed but forward position here. Now you ask them to hold your torso and they start to complain. I'm done fiddling with your neck. Let's adjust it, okay? All right. Get this left side first. Yeah, you got it. You're okay. Yep, just right there. Very good. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Let's see. Uh. Breathe. Mm. I don't see you breathing. <laughs> there you go. It's a little bit of a shock. Bad. I can already see how loose it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we don't move you too much for a good 10 minutes. <laughs> we don't like say, okay, you're done. Bye. <laughs> see you next week. No, we don't do that here. <laughs> we don't do that here. We don't do that. We don't do that. Stay there, I'm gonna do your toes, okay? All right. Oh! What in the world? Wow. Your big toe is really locked. Your other toes are really flexible, but then your big toe is like, no. <laughs> Anything happen to this toe? Not that I Did you remember. pop it yourself? I, I can pop all my toes myself, but I, I don't Clearly. remember the last time I popped that toe, to be honest. Oh. oh. <laughs> Excellent. A little out there on the right. Perfect. Bend your knee. Did that hurt your low back when I did that? No, it did not. Do you mind having your shirt off and on your stomach? Sure. Well, when you're laying down here, I just see it all on the left. That was tender, whatever you were just touching. Yeah, the QL here is all... Mm. Yeah. See how I ch I always check it when they're standing. It just... It changes so much when they lay down. Right there is QL. It's all compromised. No, what that's from is from here. When I push down here. This relaxes. Mm -hmm. and that probably feels good. It does. Now I'll get to work. Less yakking, more cracking. Take a deep breath in for me. Oh, yeah. Let me pull 
wet my hand real close. <laughs> And again. There it goes. Excellent. I'm going to reach here and just pull some of this skin here. Okay. You got a lot of it over with there. I've never felt that kind of skin crack before. <laughs> oh, I'm real. Aggressive. <laughs> it, it felt good. No, it felt I didn't good. warn you either. I was like, I think he's okay. I don't need to warn him. <laughs> he does it to himself all the time. <laughs> I, mean, I, def I definitely handle it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All right, I'm gonna do the roller. Some people like it. Some people don't. You were gonna let me know. What, what is it? It's a roller. It's just uh, a massage tool. You've seen it on the channel. Yeah, oh, that thing. You're like that thing. <laughs> the torture device. It's, oh no, the torture device, that's the, uh, the scraper. It's not really that bad. This is way worse than the scraper. As far as intensity. This is, you know, pretty intense on, for most people. Just keep breathing. Whew. I'm gonna really have to work on this left here. Now this, I think, is from sitting and leaning to your, to your right. You're really rounding that low back out when you're sitting. There you go. You all right? Yep, that right there. Whatever right I there. Whatever's in my upper back. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to adjust this little segment here. You can stay there, Lene. I'm just going to try. Take a deep breath in. Oh, yeah. If I can feel, I almost want to do one of these, but I don't want to. It's tempting. Oh, it just, that's all it goes. I'm really pushing into you, and you're letting me, so. <laughs> I'm like, well, that might be all we got. But I will say the left hand side of your back is really, really bruising. Just from this thing, okay? Just swollen. We haven't been worked on. Okay, oil. You just this lateral curvature here. I'm starting to affect the low back. It's starting. I'm gonna go down to this pelvis, okay? Because this is the other side of the attachment. First attachment is up here, second one is down here. Yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> yeah, QL attaches iliac crest, T12 rib, transverse process of L1 right here. Right in there. Yeah, you got a huge, it's like a ropey feeling. Yeah. Very common. Right, right there. Mm, so it's actually a little further down and more on the side. I don't side. know how to, no, right up against the SI joint. It's kind of, it's just not the same ropiness feeling. It's just like a block, usually, on the other side. Right here, huh? Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Five breaths. 
four, three, two. I'm gonna go down. Here's the bad one. Oh, I almost had it. It's about three inches long. Here it goes. One, two, three. Come on. <laughs> you aren't kidding. This is intense. <laughs> I told you this is the most intense part of the whole thing. Then it's over. Then you get to relax. Scraping. By that point, you'd be like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna drag it down five times. One. Good. <sighs> Two. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. <sighs> Bust up that piece of scar tissue. Breathe. <sighs> there we go. It takes about five times. your chin for me. And again. Both arms behind your back. Pump your hands about five times, like one, two, three, four. There you go. Then relax, relax your hands. Oh, you can hear it over here. <laughs> You're gonna be sore. Oh, I know, but it, 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 it hurts in the moment, but it feels so good right now <laughs> that it's over. Yeah, I know. It's an endorphin trip. tools. You want to look at them before I use them? They're not sharp. They're dull. Okay. All right, cool. All right, let's, I'll give you a little trial run. You tell me, okay? All right. <clears throat> it's just cold, if anything. Yeah, yeah, that feels all right. I know this is sore. The muscle's sore down here, but the blade itself shouldn't hurt. No, that's good.
There's that bottom piece of the scar tissue there. The oil's just for your skin, so don't tear it up. Oil, oil. it in there? Mm-hmm. It's just ticklish more than anything. Well, the ribs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are super ticklish. I'll just look at those over with. This side's bruising more than the other. Interesting. Right where you were saying you had symptoms. You okay? Mm -hmm. Now the pink, you have to keep in mind, that goes away. It's the red, dark purple spots that are going to be with you for four to seven days, okay? Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I've just seen people's crazy backs on the, on the videos, but... <laughs> It's crazy to see on my own back. That's what that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't go too far out into here. I didn't really feel anything out there. Yeah, yeah. Now, I do want to take a look at your sternum. All right. Um, now, where are you saying you have a pain in your chest then? So, like, sometimes when I, like, if I'm feeling a lot of that pain in my back that I was talking about, then uh, when I breathe, it'll, like, I can feel it in, in my sternum. I'm just going to check. So, the ribs on the front, they articulate with the breastplate right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sternum. Right. right there. And there's a little piece called the xiphoid that's movable. Don't want to ever get hit there. The new room set. So it's three pieces. You can actually okay. feel the little joint right there. Okay, yeah. Feel the little horizontal joint? Yeah. So there's three pieces of this whole structure here. Ten out of the twelve ribs articulate with it. Okay. But they join together. Kind of like, like this structure right here. They come together. Mm -hmm. All right. And they're attached together like yeah, that. Like flush. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is they are movable, and sometimes that motion will, let's say you've had a bad cold and you coughed real hard and it, one gets popped and sprained, it has a hard time calming back down. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I move it, just like I did with, your, with the back of you, sometimes a little bit of a thrust will help reset it. Okay. I'm going to feel each one. Oh. I take the arm and I pull it like, like that. <laughs> okay. It moved a little bit there for me. Is it mostly on the right? Honestly, I feel it like just right in the middle. I can't tell if it's more oh, located to okay. the uh, left or right. Okay. Well, it might just be the, the structures on the front, the fascia then, if that's the case. Perfect. Take a deep breath in. All the way out. And that was, that was it, the other side. <laughs> Look back.
Like, just look straight. Perfect. Oh, no, you're okay. Just want to make sure I, you know. There we go. I got all the little pieces there for you. The <laughs> one little one. Yeah. On your back for me. There's a joint on the front of the pelvis. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one I'm going to try to move okay. for you. So bend your knees. Perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I think you get the back ones a lot, but you're not getting the front ones, so. That, that felt weird. That was great. <laughs> Hands on your hips for me. We'll do your shoulders, okay? Yeah. Elbow back and towards mine back here. Good. Lean away. That's it, elbow back. Elbow back right here. Mm. Good. Excellent. Whatever's there, I'll get. Um, do you want me to do the ears at all? Sure. Some guys kind of don't like that one. They feel like their mother's pulling on their ear again. <laughs> <laughs> they think it moves. I'll move it. <laughs> yep, you're here. Yep, lean away for me. Hold up. Excellent. Good. Lean away. Good. Hmm. Nothing on that side. Then where do you go? Uh, they just it separates. Mm -hmm. So it's only when there's a catch or that's somewhat glued, that it will pop and release. Mm. Okay, so if there's nothing, that means that the ears are, it's not a joint like these are, right. where there's gas in there. It's an actual, it's more like when I pulled the skin. Oh, okay. Like if there's an adhesion, you know, you'll pull apart the adhesion and it makes a sound when the adhesion lets go. I see. And it takes like a couple months for that to weld back together again and you have to have it done again, that's why I have a job. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, but if there's no popping, then it's just, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. So it don't Makes feel sense. bad. Like the things, that's why I said, if, if there's something that needs to go, it will go. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Especially on a person like yourself, that's super poppy clicky. Mm -hmm. Like everything, just went, the whole, God, right. like your entire body. I think I popped everything I know how to pop. <laughs> Get it, there you go. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Mm, sorry. It's okay. I, that protects your low back. Okay. If you want more of a stretch, you're going to reach your arms up and over and push into that. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. I wonder how different it will be watching the videos now that I know exactly how it feels. <laughs> Alright. How's it feeling? Feeling good. Now that tightness in between your shoulder blades, that will go away in about 30 minutes. Yeah, I feel, I feel some of that right now, but as far as like actually the movement in my neck feels great. Yeah. Now your low back is going to take a little bit of work with that mm -hmm. to, you know, to try to right. get some of that fluid out. Because as you go backwards, those muscles will relax mm -hmm. and the fluid should slowly come out of there over the course of about a week. Okay. Cool. Okay. That you just got to work on getting that back. This should feel more and more natural to you to be like this. Yeah. Okay. So the more that you get that roller back there and push these structures that way, the, the more you stretch the front of you, the more natural this will feel so that you're not feeling forced okay. into that position. Yeah. You'll just be there. This does feel easier to stand straighter than it did. Well, you know? Right, because <laughs> we just stretch the front of you. Exactly. I feel like you I'm know. so much just talking. <laughs> yeah, well, because you technically are. You know, you're not forcing yourself to be, you're used to this level and now you're right. this level. You are looking higher. Okay. okay. All right. Well, that's a good first run of it. If you have any questions, you can just let us know.